This podcast is created for adult audiences only and contains content that may be alarming to some viewers. Listener discretion is advised. Any badass views or opinions you're about to hear are those of the hosts that do not represent those of the people, institutions, or organizations that the podcast may or may not be associated with. So just don't be a dick. You know what you're getting yourself into. All right, so let's just say, (laughs) even though we said go, it still feels awkward to be like, and (laughs) action. And this is Denny. (laughs) Okay, we'll just go here. All right. Um, Hi, welcome to Girls Gone Weird. Um, And even saying this, my brain still wants to say, welcome to Girls Gone Wild. (laughs) I'm Nicole. And I'm Denny. Welcome to Spooky Month, coming in October. That's when we'll be starting. Yeah, we'll be launching our podcast um, October 1st, which is a Sunday, and we're going to shoot to put out new episodes every Sunday. We would like you to join us. It's called Girls Gone Weird, so I'm sure you can, you know, deduce that it is about all things that are weird. Um, We are two best friends um, of 15 years, talking about various topics that others may label as weird like paranormal instances, uh, mediums, past lives and reincarnation, true crime and cults, unsolved mysteries, parallel universes, extraterrestrials, Bigfoot maybe? Who knows? We'll see. (laughs) We do not take ourselves too seriously and we have sailor mouths uh, that we cannot control, but we have immense respect for all these topics, so nothing is ever a subject of mockery except like maybe ourselves. (laughs) Um... And yeah, we'd like to actively connect our listeners to any resources that may be helpful in relation to any of the topics that we cover. So, you know, if we're covering a a missing person case, we can, you know, link tip lines and anything to help if people think they've got tips, Um, mental health and domestic abuse resources and the like, you know, all sorts of stuff. Talking about weird stuff on a podcast is certainly not, you know, an original thought we draw a lot of inspiration from morbid and two girls one ghost we talk about a lot those are two of our favorite podcasts um individually um so there's a lot of inspiration there but you know i think we have heart and a sense of humor and we're looking forward to building an all-inclusive community of like-minded people everybody's welcome and um we're just bringing a little teaser episode to everybody today to just get to know us and our podcast that's coming out in October and um, we are just going to talk all about ourselves <laughs> right yeah because we're the important ones here right right <laughs> right and we're gonna make it fun so what we did was we wrote about ourselves which is gonna be weird like awkward for me to talk about because it's always weird to talk about yourself but we made it fun because we also wrote a little bit about the other person so it was super weird to talk about myself I was thinking about how you have to do that in school and you're like my favorite color is this and my favorite movie is this <laughs> i so hope that's how you wrote the description about yourself I kind of i kind of went that route <laughs> i'm excited yeah and i could like write a book on you but like me i'm just it was very like yeah and dry so yeah. have fun with this mm-hmm. so this you get to know a little bit about us i know we're putting out um, something when we first started around October about like our first cases, so you get to know even a little bit more, but this gets to know your host. So do you want to start with yourself, Nicole? I don't know. Do I? I feel like we should rock, paper, scissors it and the loser has to start. Uh, who's going to start about themselves? Yeah. Just right, one, ready? just one round. Ready? Yep. Rock, paper, paper, scissors. Oh no. Uh, uh-uh. uh. <laughs> so it's really hard to do when you're on video. <laughs> she waited <laughs> to see what I'd bring. We go one, two, three. Ready? One. <laughs> one, two, two, two three. <laughs> three. <laughs> All right, have? I'll just do. Yeah, uh, you're the loser anyway. Yeah. She I got, cheat, I got yeah. rock and she chose scissors, so you get to go. My description of Nicole, while I will add in here, is that she's a huge cheat. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll put that in there. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to talk about. 
But oh, I'm talking about myself first. Okay, I'm gonna talk, talk about, about myself. yourself first. Talk about myself. Yeah. So, I wrote. I'm into reading and watching dark documentaries, or pure reality TV shows, because I like trash and I'm pure garbage. I like all the tea. Um, yeah, I I liked horrible shows. I am a drag king and have been performing most of my life. So, what I like about being a drag king is I get to be a man, which means I get to treat other men how they treat me forever. So it's really fun. Um, my performance name is Ted Hungdi. So if you're here, I hope you get the pun. So shout out to all my letter family crime lovers. <laughs> I founded and run Anna Lake Animal Sanctuary. So that's a farm animal rescue, and I also help people with plant based meals. Um, I have been vegan for seven years, which means I'm super fun at parties. <laughs> I think I'm the best cook, and I make the best cocktails. I love a cocktail party with a theme, any excuse to dress up and have foo-foo drinks. Um, I absolutely love animals, but hate like 95% of kids. But I do have a daughter. <laughs> She's my entire world. People are confused when I say that. Um, Nicole and I were both pregnant around the same time, and each both have one daughter, so we assume they would be best friends, but they hate each other, even though they call each other best friends. <laughs> um, I love the color pink. I like clicky-clack nails, but a lot of people get confused because I'm an extreme handy woman. Like, I'll build a shed and then go clean up some animal shit, and then I'll do it in stilettos. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I wrote, I'm very thrifty. My nickname growing up was Daniel the Dumpster Diver. Um, but I have zero shame. If I get something for free or cheap, I'll rock that shit. Um, and I also wrote my husband, Mark, and bestie, Nicole, are the bougie ones in my life. But I love it, and I wouldn't change for anything. I will take care of both of them when they are old, and I have to change your guys' light bulbs, and I'll do all your guys' handy stuff and move the bugs outside. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I'm just on a pellet jet unapologetically myself and I can't talk so you'll probably learn that and learn that I make up a lot of words she does she makes up a lot of words I do so we will start our own dictionary and vocabulary on this (laughs) but yeah so that's a lot about me so let's hear about you Nicole what are your favorite colors (laughs) (laughs) all right we're gonna go let's see it's so okay this is just funny we're going to do a comparison on what I wrote about you, what you said about you. Okay, I so know. about me, Excited. my name is Nicole. Um, I am a white passing indigenous northern southerner, <laughs> if you can say that <laughs> mouthful. I was born and raised in Minnesota, and I'm a tribal member of Red Lake Nation, but I have been living in the deep south for about four and a half years now. My husband and I traded the city life to raise our spitfire of a five-year-old daughter in a dreamy little house in the woods with our dog, Theo. Um, <laughs> here's, here we go. My favorite comedy movie is Dumb and Dumber. Yep. <laughs> but I am a sucker for <laughs> any and all Judd Apatow movies. And I also have a soft spot for older comedies like Some Like It Hot and Harold and Maude. My... They'll probably hear a lot of Judd Apatow quotes in this. Mm-hmm. You will. Um, Mm -hmm. My favorite horror movie is a tie between It Follows and the classic Scream. Um, That's a great one. Yeah, it is. It's just a classic. It's a great one. Um, It's it's all the best, yeah. I love true crime as well. Danielle is definitely more of the junkie, but I will fall asleep with my husband listening to Forensic Files all the time. Um, I love ghost hunters, but I hate ghost adventures. Big snob about that. (laughs) (laughs) I no, I fucking hate ghost adventures. She loves ghost adventures. He's such a douchebag. Everybody knows that though. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. (laughs) Um Fucking talk to me, man. Talk to me on here, be a man. He wants to take it off his shirt and yell at ghosts. It's ridiculous. It's amazing. (laughs) (laughs) Agree to disagree. Um, uh, my favorite band is Radiohead, but I will proselytize Taylor Swift until the day I die, because my husband and I are the only people we know that frequently jump from Radiohead and slow dive to Taylor Swift in a heartbeat. <laughs> but <laughs> you will also catch me singing every word to every single Tenacious D song. So, um, I've I've got some interesting eclectic musical tastes. Um. My favorite food <laughs> are anything involving potatoes and mushrooms. And for dessert, I yes. love a good bread pudding, a mochi ice cream, or taro bubble tea. 
Mm. My favorite books are Stiff by Mary Roach and Smoke Gets in Your Eyes by Caitlin Dowdy, uh, which are both non-fiction. Both could be porn names. Yes, they are. <laughs> they are. They're actually... No, I'm just kidding. They're not. Uh, they're both non-fiction books covering various topics, both of them surrounding death and what happens with the human body post-mortem. They're uh, very morbid, but fascinating with a humorous flair. I don't know why both of my favorite books surround death, but (laughs) I guess you can just tell that I'm that kind of morbid person. Yeah. Um, A fun fact about me is that I've always wanted to start a podcast, but I never put any effort into it. So thank you, uh, Danielle, for forcing me to do this. (laughs) I've been trying to talk her into it for a few years, so yay! (laughs) That's true, it's true. My late best friend Ryan and I always talked about starting a podcast about various things, Um, but the last one that I remember, we were going to create a serial podcast about serial, (laughs) (laughs) and he wanted to name it, Why So (laughs) Serial? You get it? Like the Joker. Why So Serious? I want to name it Why So (laughs) Serial. He was, I say once a year you should make you should just record. We're gonna add it onto here. We're gonna have a serial episode <laughs> once a year in yeah. honor of Ryan. Yep, that's perfect. <laughs> His birthday. Yeah. Speaking of him, I should also mention that I may speak of him a fair amount because um, he was in my life for a long time. So if you ever hear me refer to Ryan, that is whom I speak of. Um, and I also have two late beloved pups named Honey and Coda, who are the subject subject of at least one paranormal experience. Uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We'll talk about them later. Um, and if I weren't where I am now, I would either be an interior decorator or set decorator, or I would be working in the death business, like providing alternative body dispositions and alternative funeral and burial options. Maybe an eclectic funeral home decorator. <laughs> Mash them together. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah, you'd be great at it. I mean, so often you walk into funeral homes and they're just like dusty and drab and dirt. Like, they, uh-huh. they're not dirty, but they just... A lot of floral. A lot of floral, floral. They're stuck in time and it's just, it's so morose. Mm-hmm. And I feel like, I don't know. If I were to have some sort of traditional funeral, I would want it in a in a more eclectic space that was, I don't know, brought some flair to it. That would be cool. <laughs> so maybe I'm the one to do it. I'll remember that. Yeah. <laughs> so that was my high school bio about me. I liked it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You tell me about me. All right. Let's see the difference. This is what I'm kind of excited about because I wanted to hear both of them together. All right. <laughs> You did yours like facts and mine did mine like a story. That's going to be fun about the podcast because we're both going to tell things so differently. All right. I said, I met Nicole halfway through senior year sitting across the room of our class. And I thought, wow, she's super cute because that's how friends start with me. Terrible (laughs) intentions. (laughs) And we became best friends ever since. Um, Nicole's one of the very few people that can sometimes beat me at Scrabble. And I only mean sometimes. But she's one of those very few people that can do that. Mm -hmm. Um, We can't go to a restaurant together without ordering half the menu because she does have exceptional food taste. Um, Besides her amazing food taste, her taste in almost everything from her fashion choices, her interior design choices, are something I think you should be famous for. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. But I did write your music tastes are like 50% terrible, though. (laughs) Because that's a... That's a fact. Everything else is good. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a fact. I'm not a Swifty, but I love Radiohead, so fifty mm-hmm, percent okay. terrible. All right, you can't. And I said you can't be perfect mm-hmm. at everything. Um, she's highly intelligent. By that, I mean not only that stereotypical book smart, but someone who is always willing to continue to educate themselves, learn, and grow, which I think is the biggest sign of intelligence. Um, I think your brain is things creatively gross making my words up again and it's one of my favorite things about nicole because i can talk to her for hours and i'll laugh cry and then laugh again and then go back feeling like i've learned something somehow i wrote like how you're kind of like a psychologist oh my gosh (laughs) yeah my therapist actually told me that i should be a therapist (laughs) i think you'd be great at it (laughs) i'll be your therapist i think you should do it yeah you got this you should just go in without a degree and just said just, you should just put an ad out <laughs> in Alabama and you got it. I also take payment in homegrown potatoes and mushrooms. <laughs> okay, proceed. Keep talking about me. 
I wrote, Nicole is pee your pants funny and doesn't know how to not punch every 10 seconds when she has the perfect amount of cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> so I know when Nicole is having a fun time when it's just a lot of punching I am abusive. on the arm. And that's when she's my favorite. <laughs> that sounds terrible. And that is my description of you. <laughs> well, that was very sweet. Except yeah. for, you know, a couple things like about Taylor Swift. But we'll talk about that later. Terrible. <sighs> that's okay. That was good. I liked it. I like how much ours intertwine. And you will see. Good. Okay. This is my bio about you, Danielle. Oh, I put, Danielle is a force of nature. She is the most humorous, caring, and generous person I know. And she would literally give you the shirt off of her back and then turn around and make you the most incredible vegan stroganoff topless. (laughs) (laughs) She makes a mean cocktail and will serenade you with the best 80s and 90s ballads and R&B hits, either in drag or not, holding a chicken or not. (laughs) <laughs> she has an affinity for the color pink, 90s music, lovingly insulting you, veganizing any meal you can think of, saving any animal she can possibly fit on her land, and she totally sucks at Scrabble. Ooh, who's fight words? A lot of time it's because she makes up words, and she's very confident about the fact that they're real words, even though they're not. And they never are. We play where if we tell the person, which I think is the rules everyone should use is, but other people who play with me do not say these are the rules, that we if we challenge it and we're wrong, the other person loses their points. So sometimes I just overly confident because I know Nicole doesn't want to lose points. Boom. Yeah. So I'm the better yeah. Scrabble player. Uh, that's your strategy. <laughs> <Cheating. Your> strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay, I also put that our mutual love for inappropriate dark humor immediately bonded us for life. And we had hoped that our five-year-old daughters would connect in that way as well, but they are total frenemies. <laughs> um, um, we're totally going to be old, tattooed, wrinkly grandmas. And if we end up widowed in our elder years, we will probably marry each other and build our own old lady dream house in Marietta, Georgia, as she's destined to be a Southern Belle at some point in her life before she kicks the bucket. Oh, that was <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wrote about you. Yeah. It was beautiful. <laughs> I, thought it was I beautiful. loved it. <laughs> I also wrote it like an hour before I thought we were recording the other night. So I've just been randomly like, I'll think of something in a sentence, I'll be cooking, and then I don't just pretty even put it in her thing. That's smart. But I'm glad they did intertwine, and I hope that everyone got to know a little bit about us. Yeah, maybe you can connect. Maybe you're, you know, weirdos like we are. But I'm Sure, and we always want to hear stories and you can email at us at girls gone weird at gmail.com no did i say that right girls gone world email i'm gonna say it wrong every time <laughs> girls gone weird email girls gone weird email at mm-hmm. gmail.com there we go there we go she's making she's making up shit again <laughs> all right well everyone well that's our podcast it's beautiful love it perfect so come join us in october and every sunday thereafter um until we die we're just gonna we're gonna keep doing this we're just gonna hold the podcast (laughs) makeup to our deathbeds Uh uh-huh yep so (laughs) yeah peace out we'll see you see you in october bye bye until next time this has been nicole and guinea with girls gone weird (laughs) Feels kind of weird.